Hi Pisces, it's Karen and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Pisces. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a few Oracle cards for additional messages. So let's go ahead and get started and see what the cards would like you to know. Okay, so this awareness for the week begins with the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is this lovely earth energy of um, she's sitting out in nature, in abundant nature, with the pentacle on her lap. And what is important for her is to be able to take care of those that she loves, to be compassionate, to be caring, to be considerate. She's very smart and capable. So with a court card, this could represent attributes that you have, or this could be someone within your life, your circle of friends, or your family, or your household. So this queen can multitask, taking care of children, the job, community responsibilities, and she's resourceful. So perhaps this week you're working on being resourceful in some fashion, uh, fixing up the home, making it more beautiful, um, improving uh, you know, your work environment as well, adding on to your resume. But this queen is a queen of six. She's successful. She appreciates the good things in life, but will work hard for them. And mostly she's this very grounded type of person who's down to earth and approachable. So down to earth is a nice mindset for the week. As part of your awareness, we also have the six of swords. We have um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Swords, air element. And, uh, you know, we see the cloaked figures being transported in the boat by this person, the oarsman. So they're getting support. They're getting the help that they need to move forward. This is a card of transition. This is a card of leaving behind a situation that wasn't working out for you in order to find the smoother waters. This could be temporary. It could be permanent. It may be travel. It may be time that you need alone in order to reset and to think about things. But... Often, this is a card of transition. It's a card of movement. It's a card of leaving behind something that just doesn't work, isn't fitting in, something that you need a break from. Let's see what we have for guidance. So in terms of guidance, we're getting a sense here with Page of Wands. Youthful energy, this core card is uh, sincere and earnest in the desire to gain more experience. And in this particular case, the Page of Wands, it goes to uh, adventures, excitement, following your passions, living life to your fullest, taking a step and moving forward, making the plan, getting engaged. Uh, getting engaged with your activities, you know, the, the lifestyle that you're hoping for. So this page of wands is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, um, you know, this desire to, to, to have some fun. So maybe there's something that after you will have this transition that you're going to allow yourself to take some chances and to get out there and to live life to enjoy what's going on. With this Page of Wands, we have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is a card of gentleness and a card of compassion and kindness. It's through the eyes of children here, which is the innocence of giving this cup and a flower to the smaller child. It's simply a nice gesture, and it's a nice suggestion in how we interact with people is not to forget to be gentle, to be kind. So in terms of guidance, to be 
gentle, considerate, and kind. It's also uh, an opportunity to think about the past. And with the Six of Cups, it could be the potential to meet with someone from your past. Maybe you have lunch plans. Maybe you have dinner plans. Maybe you bump into someone at the grocery that you've known. And it puts a smile on your face. It can be a very comfortable moment to reach back and to think about the past. Maybe it's a familiar scent. Maybe it's driving past a place that you used to frequent. But the Six of Cups, it's about... Um, it's about nostalgia. The only thing to say about nostalgia is to use it as a framework to think about a time when you were really happy. What were, what were the elements of you being happy? To live in the past or to get hung up on someone from the past or a job from the past or a place from the past may not serve you. You know, and that's the only thing to say is not to get stuck in the past, acknowledge it, think about what was good, visit it, and then get back to where you are right now. This is important. This is about taking action. Maybe the action is recollections or meeting somebody, but there is, at the very heart of this, there's a kindness and a gentleness that is important. On a literal level, this could mean that Children are, children's um, needs and activities are important to you this week. Okay, so we have the moon, major arcana in terms of possible outcomes. So the moon brings forth this idea of, you know, the moon is really powerful. When we look at the moon, we want to take pictures of the moon, we want to walk in the moonlight, and it's romantic and it can be very exciting. It can also be very, um, we may not see things for what they really are. And that can lead to uncertainty. So we may feel uncertain of the path that we're taking with the moon through perhaps interactions, uh, transitions, Things of the past, maybe that's kind of clouding up our vision or our beliefs. And with the moon, we can. it's important to think about your dreams. It's important to think about what lies beneath the surface, your subconscious, the secrets that are held within. And uh, perhaps having this uncertainty can lead to doubt, can lead to fear, fear of making a wrong move. So with that, that's a little interesting what in terms of possible outcomes. And then we have the Six of Cups, a card of giving and receiving. This may be a week where you need support, where it's important for you to ask for help if you need it, or you may be in a position where you're able to provide support to someone else. It doesn't have to be money. It could be time. It could be a favor. It could be a phone call. It could be a checking in, something that the Queen of Pentacles might do. Hey, I heard you weren't feeling well. Can I bring you over some, some soup? What can I do for you? It's a simple gesture, but one that goes a long way. And so the Six of Cups, it's the, it's the perspective of what, what do you identify with? Are you needing a little hand, a little support? Or are you in a position to help? You may need support in talking with someone to help you approach and to think about the path that you're on and what your actions and what you're doing. That if you have doubts or uncertainty, you may need some support to help you manage that. So now let's get uh, some information, and I would call this an affirmation from the oracle cards. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Hmm. So perhaps... The desire to, to be active, to get involved, 
to reconnect with um, the good parts of your memories or your past and having support leads to a lovely opportunity to uncover treasure and the bounty of this treasure. So now we'd like to choose a card for healing. I think we all could benefit from some healing thoughts. All is well. Archangel Jeremiah. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings that you will soon understand. That's a beautiful message. It's kind of goes nicely with the idea of uncovering treasure, of being patient and doing the things that you need to do, of having support, making the moves necessary. And then finally, I'm going to choose a card for love. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. And again, there are Miracles happening all the time and the blessings. We have so many blessings. If we just start counting those blessings and being mindful of what uh, blessings we have in our life, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful practice to have. This is what I have for you for the week and I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, share this video and comment below. I wish you a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.